How do you not know your kid's pregnant? You love your kids. You want to see the best in them. Okay, then. How do you have a baby and then throw it in a trash can? Something happens. You panic. You freeze, and you want to hide it and pretend like it didn't happen. I get that. You get that? I do. I just don't get what happens afterward. I don't get how you go back to class and pretend like everything's fine. Everything's not fine. Oh, it's the blood results. Karen and Lisa are not a match. And then there were two. Well, it's obvious then. This baby can't possibly be Shannon's. Look at her. No one can stay a size two and be pregnant. Trust me, I've tried it. What are you saying? Just that Sarah's a little pudgy. At least she's not sleeping around. Yes, I am a little short. Shannon on the didn't time. even think about boys until she started hanging out with you. You have some nerve. Do I need to remind you two who the teenagers are here? She started. Oh. Enough, okay? Both of you, come with me. Let's go. Ow! Let go of me! No, move. There he is. That's your son. I want you both to look at him. Because it's not true that you did nothing wrong. You both are wrong. You're wrong for covering this up. You're wrong for lying about it. You're wrong for letting this little baby, this sweet, innocent, beautiful little boy suffer like this. He's dying, and it's your fault. It's both of your fault. And the thing is, the truth will come out. In time, it will come out. It always does. It just... It just does. And when it does, this baby will be dead. Shannon. Tell my mom, okay? Thank you. Thank you for telling the truth. Poor little guy. Yeah, he's okay. We have to turn him over to a mother who's going to juvie, and grandparents are so clueless they didn't even realize their own kid was pregnant. Imagine the kind of childhood he's going to have. You can get over a bad childhood. I mean, you can have the worst crap in the world happen to you. I mean, you can get over it. All you got to do is survive. 